This is a narrated PowerPoint summary of the reciprocal teaching chapter found in the ebook. Reciprocal teaching is a cooperative learning instructional method in which natural dialogue models and reveals learners' thinking processes about a shared learning experience. Reciprocal teaching is based on Vygotsky's theory of cognitive development, and the dialogue in reciprocal teaching is usually the dialogue that is found between teacher and students. In reciprocal teaching, it includes scaffolding, thinking aloud, using cooperative learning, and facilitating metacognition. Learners act in response to one another. And the goal is to use discussion between teachers and students and then students and students to enhance students' reading comprehension, their ability to develop self-regulatory and monitoring skills, and their overall improvement in motivation. The four main strategies that are used in reciprocal teaching to increase students' reading comprehension are predicting, questioning, clarifying, and summarizing. Each of these four strategies is modeled aloud by the teacher so the students can hear and visually see the thinking that occurs with each one. This is an example of the modeling element that is also found in cognitive apprenticeships. After this is done, students are given the chance to practice these skills um, independently or in small groups. The first strategy is predicting. Predicting helps the students to become more involved in the story. Um, teachers can use graphic organizers, and they can serve as visual clues to help students. Um, predicting teaches the students to recognize picture clues and word clues that they find in the story or in the text that they are reading. It also helps them to develop higher level thinking skills. And in predicting, it helps to focus on the foreshadowing that is found in the story and the main idea of the story. Another strategy is questioning. Um, the three types of questions that are usually focused on are fact questions, reflective questions, and opinion questions. Questioning makes internal process of self-questioning visible for the students. It helps students to fatten up the questions they are asking throughout the story, the questions they are asking themselves, themselves throughout the story, and it gets students to the real thinking about what they are reading. Clarifying is another strategy that is often focused on in reciprocal teaching, and it helps students to identify the things in the, the text and in the story that they do not understand. The three major techniques are backtracking, which is rereading when you realize you have lost your way and you do not what is happening in the story. Another technique in clarifying is looking for familiar landmarks. Teachers can do this by activating prior knowledge, the grammar, the syntax that is found in the story. And then the last technique is referring to outside sources. Maybe the students need to look at dictionaries, atlas, atlases, and encyclopedias to, um, to better clarify what they are reading in the story. Summarizing is another strategy, and it helps students to tell the main idea and the most important details in their own words. Many times students, when they summarize, they, they get caught in the nitty-gritty details of the story of the text, and they miss the big idea. Um, you practice this skill in other areas, such as when you're summarizing a math lesson or what they did over the weekend. Reciprocal teaching can also be used with math, and it's used to help students better understand and comprehend the math word problems, which many times um, students have a difficult time with. The four strategies for reciprocal teaching in math are clarifying, questioning, summarizing, and planning. There are many benefits of reciprocal teaching. One is that students who have been struggling with reading and are taught how to think about text in this way are able to feel comfortable taking part in discussions and engaging with both fiction and nonfiction grade level text. Statistics also show that reading comprehension improves dramatically with the use of this instructional model. 
Along with the benefits, there are also many challenges. Constructivists in the field of learning strategies do not agree on how it should be taught. Um, this method is not effective for students who struggle with decoding words and breaking them into phonemes. Reciprocal teaching focuses, for the most part, on reading comprehension and not the decoding of the actual text itself. And it relies heavily on the teacher's belief in constructive learning and their proficiency with the reciprocal teaching process. In conclusion, after the four strategies are taught, the teacher hands over the leadership responsibility to the students. And the repeated external use and understanding of the reading strategy package becomes an internal way of thinking about reading for the students. 